Hello everybody, this is Danny here. Hope you're well. Today I want to teach you a simple breakout strategy. The idea behind this simple forex trading strategy is to capture an early move of the price when it starts to establish its new direction or trend for the day. As we know, the Frankfurt market opens at 7 a.m. GMT, then an hour later, the London market opens at 8 GMT. The European session is the first major session of each day. So, what do we do? Okay, the thing we do first is we are going to start with one hour time frame and we are using pound dollars as our uh, as our pair to, to trade. So, we are only trading pound dollar for this strategy. We are not going to use any indicators. We are going to use just the chart, the time frame. We are going to use the candles. That's all. Okay. So first of all, you need to look for that hour candle between seven and eight o'clock. So and this is the hour candle. Okay. Uh, if you look at that on my on my chart here, it says nine o'clock because I use IC market. IC market is two hours ahead of GMT. So if you use IC market like I do, there will not be any confusion. Okay, so this is the hour chart. You draw, what you do is draw the a parallel line at the highest of that candle and another parallel line at the lowest of that candle. Okay, this is the candle you draw that high and the low. Okay. Now, what you do next, once you've drawn that, you move to a five-minute chart. We are earlier on a one-hour chart, so you draw, you move to one, a five-minute chart. And when you are at five-minute chart, what are you looking for? You are looking for a whole five-minute candle to form outside of this channel. So we have seen this is the channel, the same channel that we're coming from one hour. So... You look at the candle that closes or that formed completely outside of the channel. So if you look at this first candle, it's not completely formed outside of the channel because it started inside the channel. Next candle is completely out. And this is the first candle that formed completely out. So that is where we buy from. We buy from the close of this candle. So this is upward breakout. So this is bullish breakout when it breaks above. The channel bearish breakout when it breaks below the channel so this is the break outside of the channel so this is the this is the candle close of the second this second candle we buy from okay when we do that all right our stop loss will be the other side of the channel so if you bought at this level here your stop loss will be here right what about take profit okay we have to take profit. The first one is the size of this channel. So you measure the size of this channel, assuming it's 20 pips. For example, your TP1 will be 20 pips and your TP2 will be 2 multiplied by the size of the channel will be 40 pips. So 20 pips, profit 1, TP2, 40 pips, 20, 40, depending on the size of your channel. Wow. Can that be more easy? That is very easy. So, let me show you how it works out, how it looks actually in the in the chart, in the real chart. Okay. So I'm gonna go to IC market. Okay. So now we are in IC market, and this is a five minute chart. Okay. First of all, let me show you here. Right. So this is actually today as we speak. The the chart is still live. We are still we are still live. So. Now, this is the candle we are talking about. If you look, look, if you keep looking at the data window here, you will see when I put my cursor here, you will see nine o'clock. That is nine o'clock my time. Okay, that's sorry nine o'clock. I see market time, broker's time. So you draw a line above that and below that candle, and then you go to five minutes to see what happened there. So you go to five minutes. Let's make this collapse a little bit. Okay, so now we are on five minutes chat. 
so this is five minutes let's make it a bit smaller okay so this is our five minutes okay now we're at five minutes level so we are looking for the first candle that closes outside and which is this candle bravo we got our buy candles let's draw a line let's draw a line so let's let's draw a line that's our buy line yeah that's our buy line and let's measure what is what is our channel size channel size is 27 pips so because channel size is 27 pips our tp1 will be 27 pips from here let's see 27 pips yes we got 27 pips this is 27 pips and what is going to be our tp2 that's 27 multiplied by 2 which is going to be 54 let's measure that from this line 54 pips sure this is 70 70 something pips so we already got 54 pips right 54 pips right about around here 54 pips so notice that you never get close to your stop loss your stop level is here you never get to this stop loss so for today you have actually made uh the first 27 pips and the second 27 pips okay so this is how it works but let me show you something here because i want to show you the historical um pattern of this strategy what has happened in the past because i'm showing you what is happening today okay but i want to show you what has happened in the past to do that we need a help of an indicator so i got an indicator and what does it do so let me show you so uh this is five minutes so what the indicator does is do exactly what you are we have just done manually here by drawing this uh, box so this is the high of that's the high of that seven o'clock candle seven to eight o'clock this is the low remember this is the candle we were talking about where we started from uh, we said that our buy line here and we made 27 pips and then we made uh 54 pips right as our tp2 so that was today now let's move to what happened yesterday i want to show you a few days so you can get idea of how this thing work the theory behind this strategy is that we determine the direction of the day from the first one hour so the sentiment the momentum of the first hour determines what happened in the rest of the day so if we get the analogy right, we will see we will always be in the right direction of the market. Okay, so let's look at what happened the day before. So I'm scrolling back. Okay, this is the day before. Automatically, it will draw us. It will automatically draw us that box again between seven and eight o'clock. GMT. So let's find the first candle that form compared completely outside that tunnel that box looking at it this look like this candle here so that will be that candle so this is our buy line or if you're not so sure whether that's the candle okay definitely this candle form outside completely outside so let's say that's the candle so we are going to buy from there we're going to buy from there so let's measure what is what is our box size this time around 60 pips oh sorry 31 31 pips 31 pips so that means our tp1 is 31 pips from this line did we get 31 pips sure this is 37 40 so we got we got the tp1 let's see if we get tp2 which will be 62 pips from this buy line 62 pips of course yes we got more than that okay that's day two let's go to day three i'm going back day three this is day three right look at the date there that's april 7 we have done april 
9, we've done 8, now we are doing April 7, okay? Same thing, let's, the indicator has drawn the box for us again, between 7 and 8 o'clock, GMT, what candle form outside? The first candle that form outside is this candle, right? So, our buy line is here, this is our buy line, that's our close of that candle you buy, okay? So the question is, what is our box size? The box size this time around is 42 pips. Question is, do we have 22 pips? I doubt it if we have 22 pips. Right, 22 pips. Do we have 22 pips from this line? 22 pips. 42 pips. Oh, we got to 40. We got to 40 pips. We didn't hit 42 pips. Okay. So, many things you can do here. If you don't hit your stop loss, some people, when you, oh, sorry, your TP, uh, some people plus or minus few pips when they get close to their take profit, they might close the trade. But if you don't close the trade, you might also trail your position. Okay. So, because here, we seem not to hit our take profit. But you know what? We never hit the stop loss neither. This is our stop loss line. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. Watch it. We never test that line. This is the second day. So, what you do is, whatever the case may be, you must close your trade before the end of the day. So, in this case, even if you didn't hit your stop loss and you have... No, you've been, uh, you didn't hit your take profit and you've been around for too long. Just end your trade at a minimal profit. Okay. Let's go to the following day, the next day, which is the 6th of April this time. Right. So we're not cherry picking. We're just, just going day after day after day. So let's, where's the other one? Yeah, this is the other line. So here we are. So this is the first candle that closes outside of the box, right? So this is our buy line there. So the question now again is, what is the size of the box? Size of the box, size of the box, size of the box. This one is about 30 pips, 30 pip box. Now do we hit 30 pips? Do we hit 30 pips? Yeah, we did. We did. We got a TP1. Do we get TP2? No, we got 40 something. We didn't hit it to TP2. So you move your, after TP1, you move your other half of the position to break even. So you can go home safe and sound. Okay. Now let's move one more day before we, we go on. All right, it's another day. Remember, this is April the 3rd. Um, so let's draw our two line again. That's a high. Oh, good, because now we have a cell example. Cool. This is our set example. So this is the candle, the first candle that closes below, below our box. Okay, this is the candle that closes below our box. So... That's our, let's move it to our sell line. So we are selling right here at the close of that little candle. Now let's measure the box. What's the size of the box? Size of the box, size of the box is 33. Let's call it 34. Let's call it 34 pips. So our TP1 is 34 pips and our TP2 will be multiplied by 2, which is 68. So from this line, let's look for 34 pips. Do we get it? For sure we got it. What about 68? TP2, way more than that. We actually got 100 pips. Guys, I hope <laughs> this is uh, really looking good for you. Okay, so um, I think we had enough example, but what I'm gonna do is just scroll back just for you to, to have a look so that you know that it's not just showing you one or two examples only. Let me delete these two lines. So, yeah. So, I'll scroll back. You can see from here, you can hit your TP. Okay, let me quickly show you this. Uh, this is a typical one. Uh, typical one. Yes. Typical one here. All right. 
right so this is why we said you must only look for candle that formed outside of the box not the candle that crosses the box or closes below or uh, below the box that formed completely outside of the box so you could see these two these three candles they didn't qualify they were all inside the box okay so here there's no cell so the first candle that actually crosses is this candle so that's just an example um then the other thing is that let's assume that sometimes you you didn't hit your take profit target over there let's say you you gone in here and you didn't hit your take profit target let's say for example let's measure here uh right so here is 37 pips and let's see what is our 37 pips okay we did hit our take profit target there Let, let's find another example this one is a positive one let's find another example that may be negative okay let's do one more day before we go oh this looks like a positive as well because if you look at it there's no break below and there's a break above and it looks like we're going to hit our take profit so i'm looking for negative right now guys and ladies i'm looking for negative i'm not looking for positive anymore okay could this be our first negative let's see yeah right yes yes good this is our first negative and i want to tell you how you can turn your negative to become positive at least or to actually make it break even day okay let's assume that now you have gone here you will have because this is the first candle that closes outside of the channel so you will have gone short right there at the bottom wow what a mess what a mess you've gone short at the wrong time well you can still make something out of it okay so now you've gone short here and you remember this is your stop loss line here it's quite uh, substantial but remember that you can still go long when it when you find another one that closes above the top line yeah so let's say here you you got short here and then you got stopped out here fine but this candle closes above so you go long on this candle right so you go long at the close are you following me at the close of this candle here actually yeah let's say this is the candle that closes that formed outside of the box so let me put our line there so remember our tp1 will be this is 63 pips is our tp1 and we have 63 pip from here yes of course we got we got actually we got close to 100 pips okay so on this day even though you lost this trade but you'll have made up some to cover the loss so here will be minimal loss or break even okay so that's that's good example of the how the negative work here so you have to salvage your trade so guys let me just scroll through it so you can see here you probably make your money there as well let's show you one or two more here definitely you hit your take profit target so day by day i'm showing you here 100 percent you hit your take profit target notice you never touch that bottom line anymore you never touch that that lower line anymore so guys this is how this thing work i think it's a fantastic uh, uh breakout strategy um you know what if you have any questions about this as usual leave me a comment i will try to answer you i can also send you the session indicator you are seeing right now i can send you the session indicator for free all you need to do is just ask and include any email address to send the indicator to however to get all your personal questions answered by me right and also to learn my strategies i will welcome you to my mentoring program 
The detail will be out very soon, so be on the lookout. In the meantime, you can reach out to me through email to register your early interest. So thank you guys and ladies for watching this video. I hope it's beneficial. So very soon, I will be speaking to you again. It's Dari.